Community Connections is um, a big lottery funded project. It's a Bridges Community Centre project working in partnership with the Palmer Centre and it supports people over 50 who are socially isolated to feel connected in their community by providing volunteer befrienders. People live in Monmouthshire because it's beautiful, because this is where they're from. It's a rural county, it's got a gorgeous countryside, we are really lucky. But going with that, there's like very little facilities. Most of the villages don't even have a shop. Most people need a car to get around, there isn't great transport. So it's really important to provide that contact. We've got a small team, there's myself who manages the project, and we've got two full-time coordinator posts. One of those is split into a job share, so we've got effectively three coordinators. We try and bring people together, either on a one-to-one -one basis or in little social activity groups in, in the centres where we work, Bridges in the Palmer Centre. A range of different things to suit the people involved. I feel a lot better when I've, when I've been Previously, I was sort of didn't go out for a couple of couple of weeks at a time, but now you know it's twice a week coming coming to this club. You know, which I look, I look forward to really. All, all the volunteers have sort of become friends now. Not they're not just volunteers, you know. They're, what I call friends. We're a service that enables people to do what they want in their own way, in their own time. It's a person-centred approach. The coordinators will chat to the beneficiary about what they feel their needs are. It's not being assessed and a service put in to meet that need. It's you tell us what you think you need and we will try and help find somebody that might provide that thing that you might need and that made a whole difference to my life. It meant I was no longer alone in a strange place, but I had somebody with whom I could converse. And indeed, take me out, go to... I recently, I went to see the bluebells in the Forest of Dean, and honestly, it was a wonderful sight. You could never buy that. And if it hadn't been for the befriending agency, I would not, never have seen it. So volunteers that come to us, we'll find out about them, we'll learn about who they are, what their interests are, and we'll match them with people who might appreciate that. But we get a whole range of volunteers, so those volunteers might be people who've maybe got experience of working with, with vulnerable adults. And then we've got other volunteers who need a lot of support mechanisms for them to be able to volunteer effectively and to feel good about their volunteering. So it's really around the individuals. It's actually improved, improved my life now to, um, so that I've got um, confidence to go out and meet other people where I was sort of like really nervous before. It's a good way of going back to work as well. It's what makes me smile. <laughs> What I'd like you to do first, because we're so natural. Training is really important because volunteers come from all different backgrounds and, and, and experiences, all different ages, and we give volunteers a really clear grounding in, in how our scheme runs and what we expect of a volunteer and how we look after them. And what's lovely about our scheme now is that one of our beneficiaries who, who really wanted to offer herself as a volunteer in some way, because she's been through the POVA process herself firsthand, and now she volunteers with our training. She makes that training meaningful and relevant. And I look at it like a patchwork of support, so it could be that there might be some family involvement, it could be that some of the services involved, and befriending is a part of that. Sometimes we're taking up quite a big bit of the patch, you know, we are doing quite a lot of that, tying things together and, and joining it up for people and helping them communicate with other services and agencies that might help them, and we might be the first point of contact for them to start doing that. And I think agencies appreciate that we are there to fill the gaps where they may be used to work or where they have, there's not really their remit to do, but it's, they recognise that it's really vital work in 
keeping people independent. They're really accessible, yeah, they, they work really hard for all of us, I'd say. So yeah, we want to carry on using their service, we need them. <laughs> it's a vital resource in the community, a time when we need to build up these kind of services and resources to help people be an active part of their communities and not, uh, and not experience the loneliness and isolation. So it, they're, they're, it, we, it's important, they're an important part of, um, of what we do. It's been brilliant. I say I've uh, changed dramatically. You know, I've seen vast improvements. It's nice to go into people's houses and they're not happy or whatever. And when I come out, they seem to be perked up a bit or I've taken them out of my own car, you know, taken them for a little drive or bring, bring them here for a coffee morning or tea, whatever it's called. It's been brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, we continue to get new referrals in, we continue to get new volunteers in, but all the ones that are off doing their thing and established, they still change because people's lives change and people's circumstances change and they might need our advice and they might need our support. They might need other agencies to be involved and we might be a part of, of, of keeping that all, all cared for. Whatever the reason, if you are on your own, think of the befrienders and you will be very, very grateful that you did. Your life will improve considerably. I know mine certainly has.